know y'all are tired of doing baby damage in every raid that you go into. So today, we're going to take a deep dive into the deep dive card set that just got released and see where and what card set you need to be using in order to get the maximum damage output. Let's get into it. What I did was look at how you can get more of these cards and get deep dive quicker. We're going to be talking about that at the end of the video, so make sure and stick around for that. But what I did to take a deep dive into all of these card sets to see how much more damage you're realistically going to be putting out, I went in on the Trixian dummy. That poor lion is absolutely freaking destroyed. So what I did was I used my Glavier, my Gunslinger, my Deathblade, my Sorceress, my Striker, and my Berserker. I took six classes. I did five runs a piece. I did Deep Dive 12, Deep Dive 18, Deep Dive 30, Lost Wind Cliff, Light of Salvation 18, and Light of Salvation 30. Doing all this research, it took me about four hours just to sit down, do all the math, get these numbers so that I can report it to y'all. So if you wouldn't mind, leave a like on this video. It's completely free and it helps me out so much. And consider subscribing to the channel because I'm gonna be constantly bringing you good information like this so you don't have to sit there and waste your time. But without further ado, let's keep the video rolling. This is what I have come up with as a conclusion. These six card set options are going to get lumped into three categories. So the first category is really that intro card set. So you're looking at Deep Dive 12 and Lost Wind Cliff, okay? Because essentially they are doing around the same amount of damage. They are doing less than 0.25% damage within each other. So that, that they are extremely close in damage depending on the run. So whichever card set you can get First, that's the one that you want to put on. The next category is going to be Deep Dive 18 and Light of Salvation 18. These two card set options are also essentially the same, despite one huge difference, and that is with Light of Salvation, you will be doing more damage two bosses that are weak to holy damage because it changes your damage type to holy. So on those bosses that you do extra damage because they are weak to holy damage, you're gonna be doing way more with Light of Salvation. I believe it's 10%, but for every other piece of content in the game, Deep Dive 18 and Light of Salvation 18 are essentially the same. And when I say that, it is also less than a 0.25% difference now this last category the highest category we're looking at deep dive 30 and light of salvation 30. what this ends up being as a percentage difference between that and light of salvation is around three and a half to four and a half percent that being said if you have light of salvation in 18 or deep dive 30 you're obviously going to want to put on deep dive 30 except for the gates that you are going to receive that extra damage from the holy buff on Vicus Gates 2 and 3 and Brelshaza Gate 4. You're still going to want to use Light of Salvation 18 on those gates because that extra holy damage is an extra 10%. So it's 10% from the holy damage, then 7% from the Light of Salvation 18 buff. So that's about 17%, whereas the Deep Dive 30 is only 12%. So that's what you're gonna wanna equip in those situations. So you'll have both just to alternate. But if you don't have Light of the Salvation 18, you are obviously going to want to equip the Deep Dive 30 at all times because that 12% damage increase, or basically 12%, we'll just use it to make it simple. But Light of Salvation 30 is going to be the end all be all card set out of these options. You're always gonna want to equip it. In fact, going from, for example, Lost Wing Cliff or Deep Dive 12 to Light of Salvation 30 is gonna give you about 15% extra damage. That's a whole freaking engraving, y'all. So I wanna go over how to get Deep Dive 12, Deep Dive 18, Deep Dive 30 much quicker. So the beautiful thing about Lost Ark is it pretty much tells you where you need to get the things you need to get. So for example, look at this Thunder card. So this is the Deep Dive set, right? So if you look, take a look at the Thunder card, you can see that it says you can receive this card. At the bottom of it, it says exchange in Udia with the Wandering Merchant. So there is a Wandering Merchant in Udia, and you can use a specific website. I'm going to link it down below 
to be notified whenever that wandering merchant is there and what card they have and you can just buy them with silver i believe it's like 10 or 25,000 silver or something like that nothing crazy and you can just buy this card whenever it's there and it's pretty common i feel like um, so it's not too bad and then you can get it through the report at silent hill with thunder the npc and you can get it through the card pack the desolate meadow this is important because you can look at Virut, the next one, guess what? Again, card pack, Desolate Meadow, and you can get them through the Wandering Merchant again, though there's another Wandering Merchant card. Now, look at Mihan, okay? Again, Wandering Merchant, and the Fearless Knight card pack, and the Strong Courage card pack. So you can get them out of two of these different card packs. Now, look at Pride Home Naria. Again, Wandering Merchant and the Desolate Meadow card pack. Now we look at Kraus, Desolate Meadow card pack and a freaking Wandering Merchant again. Surprise, surprise. You can get these five cards through Wandering Merchants and these card packs. Now, the Desolate Meadow card pack, this is the one I'm talking about. So you remember doing all of your weekly Abyssal Dungeons you get five of these card packs for each one. You get five of these. Plus, you can bid for one at the end as well. Now, I would recommend that you bid on it if you're trying to get deep dive and you need this card set because you can go ahead, open it up. Looky there. Splendid Desolate Meadow card pack. So, I saved this one just for y'all. Let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we get. Plaguebringer. I got screwed. That's all right. But anyways, guys, you can get these car packs out of here. And I actually opened like 30 of these because I haven't opened them for a couple weeks. And these are the ones that I got out of here. So the ones that I have, like this two awakening, three awakening, four awakening, I have all these from opening the card packs. Okay, so I've gotten a pretty good amount without doing a whole lot. And over the next few weeks, I'm sure I'll be able to get deep dive 12 or deep, deep dive 18 without much problem just by looking at the wandering merchants buying the cards when they're there and then opening up those card packs and that's what i recommend you do as well because like i said you can get these five and if you can max out these five and then get really lucky maybe and max out one of these you can get deep dive 30 and i'm telling you you will very much likely have deep dive 30 before light of salvation 30 or maybe even light of salvation 18. and another thing real quick is the beauty of these is this is a rare card rare 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 and an epic there are tons of card packs that are going to allow you to get these blue and purple cards so if you haven't watched a video of me going over whether or not it's worth it to use your legendary selection card packs to get light of salvation 18 i go over all the ways that you can get cards in this game consistently that are actually doable without wasting a ton of time etc so make sure and watch that video and you can just skip it's probably timestamp i'm pretty sure it's timestamp just timestamp towards the end where i go over all the ways that you can get cards go and watch that right after this video you can get this thing and freaking be doing nasty damage because damage is everything and when people see this they're not going to gatekeep you okay if they see this they're going to gatekeep you for sure but if you have deep dive 18 deep dive 30 they're not going to gatekeep you because they know you're doing damage man so stop getting gatekept go out get the freaking deep dive card set unless you already have light of salvation 30 and you're an absolute freaking juicer so guys i hope you all have a fantastic day and let me know where you're at with your card set right now which one you're using and which one you're close to or closer to getting up to next whether that might be light of salvation 30 if you already have light of salvation 18 or if you maybe you have deep dive 18 you're really close to deep dive 30 whatever it is the next one that you're closest to let me know because i'm super curious at where y'all are at in terms of your progression with your card sets but i'm going to see you on the next video